reading from Job, the 33rd chapter. The Spirit of God has made me. The breath of the Almighty gives me life. This is the word of the Lord. You know, in the Nicene Creed, we say that the Holy Spirit is the Lord and the giver of life. He's the Lord, he's God Almighty, and he's the one who gives us life. And that's what's being taught in Job 33. that The Holy Spirit is the Lord and the giver of life. And he is the giver of life, both physical life and spiritual life, our life of faith. Elsewhere where that's taught in the Old Testament, you know, in Genesis 1, the Holy Spirit is at creation, hovering over the waters as a participant in creating our universe, including human life. And then in Ezekiel 37, God says, I will put my spirit in you and you will live. That's the spirit's role in creating spiritual life, the life of faith. He is the giver, the Holy Spirit is, of both physical life and spiritual life. And on this first Wednesday of the season of Pentecost, we give thanks to God once again for his Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life. He has poured into us at our baptism. He gives us faith in Christ as our Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit keeps us in that faith until we are safe in heaven. Let us pray. Almighty God, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts that he may rule and direct us according to your will. Comfort us in all our temptations and afflictions. Defend us from all error and lead us into all truth, that we, being steadfast in faith, may increase in all good works and in the end obtain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen.